Hey, this is What Gamers Love. I've got a fun video for us today, so welcome back to the channel, and I hope that you learned something today. All right, so before I dive into the specifics of this video, I wanted to announce that I'm going to do a giveaway coming up. I currently have 32 subscribers on the channel, which is way less than the amount of views that I've been getting, so I really want to get some more subscribers. So I'm gonna do a subscriber-only giveaway at the end of the month so we've got um, you know a little bit over a week and i'm going to do a giveaway of some exclusive skins i haven't decided which ones yet but uh, in a few days i will do a a video announcing the giveaway but this is your first chance to start getting in on the action all you got to do is click the like and subscribe button on this video you can do it right now and then you will be registered as a subscriber when i do the giveaway at the end of the month so please do that Help me grow the channel. Thank you. What we're going to do is I posted up a thread on Reddit a couple days ago and gave it some time to get some answers. And the prompt was, what five things did you wish you knew when you first started playing EVE Online? Um, so basically put a prompt in there. thought I'd pull the wider community, come up with a list of five of the most common answers, and put a video together on it. All right, so the most popular answer by far was this one, 32 upvotes. Don't make plexing your account a goal. It will just be, turn the game basically into a second job and burn you out. This is very true. I tried this maybe like eight years ago. Did not enjoy it. Um, definitely lose motivation. Um, and yeah, I would say that if you want to focus on having fun, um, a subscription to this game is not that expensive. 15 bucks a month. That's like going to Starbucks like two or three times. So I think, um, yeah, you definitely get more value out of EVE Online than that. So uh, definitely agree with this one. Next up, all right, we have five on this one, which is what I was asking for. So kudos to this guy. First one, drink vodka mix instead of beer. Beer makes me sleepy and inhibits my ability to play for longer. Um, okay, I agree with that. I actually drink scotch and not vodka, but yeah, one, one scotch uh, fills me up less than beer. Definitely does not make me sleepy. All right, next up, always undock stuff you can't afford to replace. You always find ways of replacing it. This one's funny because this is actually the opposite of what everybody tells you in the game. Everyone says only fly stuff that you can afford to lose. And this guy's saying... Dude, just undock it anyways, because go have some fun, and you'll find a way to replace it later. My only issue with that is that some people rage quit in this game when they lose, like, a super blingy awesome ship. And so I think this one's personality specific. Uh, next one, when not playing EVE, find ways of AFKing EVE. Yeah, I do that. Um, I use EVE Portal on my phone so I can track emails. Um, what my market orders are doing. There's so many ways to do this, but yeah, Eve definitely becomes an obsession. Um, this one's interesting. I haven't done this before. Make random contracts on the market for many, many times what something's worth. Someone will eventually be stupid enough to buy it. That crap happens in this game. I don't personally do it. Don't do PvE to make ISK. Buy more Plex more often and do things in Eve that you actually enjoy. I mean, that, that's basically point two all over again, but have fun. It's a game. Play it. Number three, good check... Good chunk of the community uses Discord to communicate. Find Discords focused on aspects of the game you enjoy. Um, yeah, no, I think that's a great idea. Um, Discord is a good way to network and meet new people. So I'm going to do some research, and I will try to... I'll probably have to come back to this video later, or maybe people can throw this up in comments on the YouTube video, but what are some good Discord channels that you found uh, for gameplay types? So maybe there's PvP Discords, maybe Mission Running, Exploration... Um, I, I've just a few to throw out there. Uh, for complete beginner pilot relic data exploration sites, probably the best possible is per hour. I agree with that, except I see way too many noobs that jump into wormholes trying to run relic sites and earn money, and they just get blapped. Um, I used to do that in Wingspan. I'd find newbies going through wormholes that had no idea what they were doing, and they were such easy prey. Uh, number three, this is largely a PvP game. There are many different flavors of PvP. Yeah, um, I think that would be a really cool video to do down the road, would be kind of a PvP video that just goes through the different things from nano gangs, low sec brawls, null sec fights, faction warfare, and just kind of break that down so new pilots have an idea of what all is possible in this game. Um, yeah, this game involves alt, don't try to do everything on one character, I agree with this. Um, I've got, you know, 
ship flying uh, PVE and PVP pilots, and then I've got separate pilots for doing things like orca boosting or just mining. So yeah, it does make sense to do that. Uh, you don't really want one character that can do everything. Five, he's out of ideas. Well, he gave us some good ones there. So um, this another one, your alt should not be on the same account if you want to multi-box. Yeah, you, you really need multiple accounts so that you can multi-box. Um, for instance, I run an orca on one account and then the other accounts all have a basic miner on it. So if I'm gonna mine, I'll, I'll at least have four people out doing it. D-scan is king. Um, I agree with this completely. D-scan is huge. Um, I'm planning on doing a D-scan uh, in-depth tutorial um, here before too long, but learning D-scan and having basic skills in that is paramount to being good at this game, in my opinion. Um, so like someone already mentioned, yeah, don't make plexing your game a priority. Definitely agree with that. You gotta find a group of people that you like to fly with that do similar things as you. Can't agree more. Uh, if you're looking for a good group, my corporation is recruiting, so feel free to check us out. I'll put a link in the description uh, of the video for our recruiting thread, so check us out. Don't be afraid to do something. Just go for it, and if it fails, learn why, and hopefully you have a good time doing so. This is awesome advice. Um, the game is so huge. There's so many ways you can die and lose what you've got, and sometimes that can keep people kind of paralyzed from doing stuff. But I say just dive in, go for it, have some fun, uh, and you'll be rewarded with a good time. All right, this one's interesting. Some controversy on some of the, the Reddit threads, but Magic 14 and someone saying, no, that's dumb. The Magic 14 is good to know what it is, but as a new player, you can't just dive straight into training the Magic 14 because you won't be able to do anything. Those are mostly support skills. So find something you want to do. Say that's exploration. Find a, a new player-friendly fit. Train everything you need to fly that ship and to equip that fit so you can at least start doing the activity then you can start training all of the support skills for that. So Magic 14 is good, but it's not like gospel for right out of the gate. But you got to know what it is. It's 14 key skills that basically impact everything you do in the game, and at some point you want to make sure you've trained all those. Yeah, don't do stuff for is, do stuff you enjoy doing. Very common theme, everyone says. Pay real money for Omega. It's a huge difference over Alpha. Definitely true. Not worth the grind. Also true. Spend money in game on what you want to play with and spend your out of game money so that you can just play the game fully. Pypha. So Pypha is a fitting assistant. Um, it is something you can use outside of the game. There's EFT is another one. I think Evemon is still around for skill, skill training cues and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of really good third party support for this game. You only learn stuff while losing ships. That's very true. Losing ships is a great way to learn things in this game. Um, as long as you always try to like recognize what did you do wrong, what could you have done better. All right, so Rogue's 20 rules. I asked for five. He gives us 20 things. I don't think I'm going to read all of these one for one, um, but there's a lot of good stuff. You know, you can send to PvP the instant you undock. That's mostly true. Um, don't really disagree with that. Don't blame the other guy first. Usually there's something that you've done that could have either avoided an engagement, could have had you fly smarter, or or had you um, come out on top. So yeah, yeah, definitely look at yourself first. Don't just look to always blame someone else. I agree with that. Here's the second half of his list. Um, yeah, don't worry about fair fights. Just get yourself a good fight. That's huge, and it takes a long time to learn. There's so many ships in this game, and it, outside of things like faction warfare, it's hard to always limit and control your engagements, but knowing when to run and when to stay to fight is huge, so you've got to learn matchups and engagements that are going to be in your favor, and the more you learn that over time, the better you'll get at this game, particularly, I mean, obviously that's PvP specific, but even still within the PvE environment, whether you're exploration or mission runner, knowing what your ship can do and making sure you're not asking too much of the ship is, is huge. Um, so that, that's definitely awesome. So a lot of really good things here. Um, I recommend you go to the Reddit thread itself and read through some of these rules. This one here, yeah, I agree. Why, why did people downvote this thread? I don't know. Trying to be helpful when people downvote stuff, which is kind of weird. But anyways, um, this guy had five. Uh, always ask for advice. I agree with that. Ask. Generally speaking, the EVE community is super helpful. 
Never believe what someone says they're earning per hour. It's exaggerated. That's usually the case. Sometimes you'll see ISK per hour reports or people get really into the nitty gritty. Um, so you can kind of trust what they're saying, but a lot of stuff is still RNG specific. Um, just look at things as ballparks, as general ballparks of, of how much money you can make. But again, I would focus on things that you have fun doing. Um, make a bookmark folder of handy websites. That's certainly true. There's a lot of wonderful ones out there. I see Dotland mentioned here. I cannot recommend Dotland enough. If I go over to my other browser, I mean, I'll, I'll have it open. I can pull this over. Um, Dotland, third-party maps. Um, I always have regions open. Navigating and seeing um, information on Dotland is just so much easier than the in-game in -game stuff. Um, you can check and click on systems and you can see things like how many jumps were happening in the system over the last day, the last hour, NPC kills, ship kills, pod kills, really great stuff. I paused the recording there. I totally just sneezed my head off. Um, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, this is funny. Other people in EVE are awful. Other people in EVE are amazing. This is certainly true. Don't let the awful people ruin your day and look to the great people to help you enjoy the game better. All right, um, how to descan, that's come up before. How to make bookmarks, that's also come up before. You define shortcuts for probe scanning buttons. Yes, I love this one. I have uh, def uh, shortcuts for both the descan and the probe scanning button. It makes life so much easier and faster. I'm gonna be doing a scanning video soon and um, I'll kind of go through all of the different hotkeys that I use in order to scan super quick. If you're ratting, mining, doing exploration, really anything, your ship will die. Always have a buffer to buy it again. Um, don't count death as the end, it's just cost of the activity, so make sure you have a surplus. Don't be angry, move on. Um, I really like this. It's about making enough money to replace your ship and have some leftover fun. Every day it lives is just a bonus. I like this idea. Um, a couple years ago, I, when I first started carrier ratting, um, I was super cautious with my carrier until I knew I had basically earned a replacement by ratting with it. And then once I had earned that replacement, then I was more willing to be a little bit more risky with it and have fun with the ship. And so uh, me and a couple other Care Factor guys got out. Um, we actually did lose our carriers. And honestly, we had a lot of fun doing it. And I didn't care. I wasn't angry because I had already replaced the ship. Um, so super cool, good advice. I like that one a lot. All right, so that's it for the video today. I hope you learned something. Um, I am going to put the link to the original Reddit thread uh, in the description. So check out that thread. Um, give some upvotes out to some people that took their time to put some answers in because that was awesome. And once again, a reminder, um, please subscribe to the channel. That'll get you registered for the giveaway that's coming at the end of the month. And I will do a reveal video for the giveaway and what the giveaway is uh, in the next day or so. So that's it. Thanks for watching and take care till next time.